Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have the Elegoo Neptune 4 Max and I'm going to be doing a quick unboxing for you guys as well as a setup and how to properly build it. We're going to pop it open now and take a look inside. So here's the extruder. So that comes completely separate. I've never seen that before. Right here we have the dual fan system. This is kind of like the new thing that Elegoo's trying to do to help cool the entire bed while it's printing. And then right here we have the magnetic holder for the user interface, a power cable, spool holder, a glue stick, all of the smaller uh, spare parts, scrapers, wrenches, flash drive, all that good stuff. So here we have the bottom half of the printer. This is the print bed. This thing is massive. Look at the size of this thing. Okay, we have the support beam and finally the user interface. And I think that be it. So when you're doing the extruder, the gold holes is the screw holes for the X axis bracket. And then the small metal piece that it has just kind of attaches to the back as well. You're going to use two PM3 by eight screws and three PM3 by 14 screws. The three longer ones are going to go in through the back and the two smaller ones through the front. Up next, we are going to install the Z access rod using four HM545 screws. The easiest way to do this is to hang the bottom part of the printer off of a table a little bit and then hand screw in the four screws and then tighten them afterwards with a torque screwdriver. To attach the UI holder, all you're going to need is three PM4 by 20 screws and just screw all three of them into the right side of the machine. To install the antenna, all you have to do is get it onto the machine slightly and then use a wrench to tighten it. Once you're ready to put the filament holder on, just find the two silver screw holders that are on the top of the machine and line them up with the holes on the holder and then screw in two PM 4x18 screws. After that, just twist on the actual filament holder itself. After that, use an HM4 M3 by 3 screw to attach the filament detector. Using two fingers, pry open the lock on the extruder cable holder. Then press the cable down until the two clamps lock. To install the cable clamp, just use one PM 4x8 screw on the left side of the machine. Next up is installing the helping rods. These are going to be slanted backwards to the rear end of the machine. You're going to be using two PM 4x8 screws for the top and then two PM 4x20 screws with a washer on the bottom. Next up is the fan and you're going to install this on the back of the X axis rod and you're going to make sure that the on and off switch is on the top as well as the cable port and you're going to screw in four PM 4x50 screws. Once all of the pieces are in place, all you have to do is plug in the corresponding cables around the machine. Plug in the AC power cord into a wall outlet and then flip the switch. Once you have the machine fully assembled, it is time to level it. Now what you're going to want to do is click on the level button. Once this message pops up, just hit confirm.
Once the machine is done homing, it'll bring up the level menu. As you guys can see, I've already leveled mine. But unfortunately, I forgot to record how to do the Z offset. This is the first thing that you're going to do before anything else. Just use the method that I'm about to show you on the Z offset with the up and down buttons. Then go ahead and click on auxiliary and hit confirm. After the machine rehomes, click on one. Grab yourself a sheet of paper or a sticky note. What you're gonna to wanna to do to level this is put the sticky note in between the extruder nozzle and the bed, and using the knob underneath the bed, you're going to either tighten or loosen it, which will raise or drop the bed. What you're trying to do is get the nozzle and bed just close enough that you can feel the friction between the two on the sticky note. After you've done your first one, you're going to click on two. And rinse and repeat the process. Now keep going through each and every knob, one through six, until all of the bed springs are even with each other. It might even be a good idea to go back through one through six after you've done it one time, just to be sure that nothing changed as leveling the bed can kind of shift it back and forth. Once you are done, it'll greet you with this message. Just hit confirm. And now the machine will begin its automatic leveling process. So what it's going to do is heat the nozzle to 140 and the bed to 60, and then hit 121 points across the bed till the entire machine is level. So I'm going to let this play out for you guys and you'll see the machine will bounce off of 121 points across the bed, which is the most that I've ever seen. And as it's doing this, it's taking note of how far off that part of the bed is from your Z offset. Once the machine is done, it will give you this message. Just go ahead and click confirm, and it will show you every point on the entire machine that it just measured. As you guys can see on mine, all of my points are within 0.1 or less than. So to get every point at exactly zero is going to be near impossible. So if your results came out somewhat like this, you should be good to go. Make sure you hit confirm on save and restart. To set up the Wi-Fi and get Fluid running, you're going to go to Settings, go to WLAN and select your Wi-Fi and enter your password. Then click on About Machine, look at the IP address, enter that into a browser like Google, and then Fluid should come up. If you don't know what Fluid is, it's basically a user interface that you can have on your computer. Um, you can start a print from there, you can adjust the temperature, you can auto home. You can change different configurations and tune your machine. Basically allows you to do everything that you can do from your machine and more on your computer. All right, that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and comment what you guys would like to see from me next. And I'll see you all in the next video.